I have a pant problem, or more accurately, I have a work pant problem. And if you don't like the word problem, I guess you could say that I'm work pant challenged. All my pants end up like this. And though I like the look and feel of denim, are jeans really considered work pants anymore? At least it's not durable over time for what I put them through here on the farm. So people told me to get some duck cotton or canvas, so I did. I got this overall, which I really like, but that has now also started to fall apart. A company called 1620 picked up on this and sent me some pants that they think will solve uh, all my challenges. I usually don't buy clothes online. Uh, my body doesn't always fit the mold, so to say. Uh, I like to try them on first, but we measured every inch of all of this. So now it's time to see if we got it right and what these pants are made of. So these are called a 1620 double knee utility pant. They're made from a fabric called Cordura Nyko and are claimed to be up to 10 times more abrasion resistant than cotton duck fabric. I think we nailed the size. It's uh, 36 waist and the inseam is 36 too. And that might seem a little too, too long, but now that I'm old enough to buy my own pants, I at least don't want them to, to be too short, even though I didn't buy these. When I first saw pictures of these pants, I thought they looked kind of synthetic in a way, uh, but they're actually much softer than I thought, and, uh, and they feel very good on my thighs. The first thing I noticed is this extra piece of fabric on top of the pockets, which I assume is some kind of protective material if you use a pocket knife. I use a folding knife, uh, usually this one, and this is an area which gets beat up pretty badly from from the clip of the knife. And since I only not use the knife for cutting, but fidget with it a lot as well, there's a lot of action around this spot. It has a double layer fabric on the knees and the thighs. Uh, there's no room for a knee pad, uh, at least I haven't found one. It has a watch pocket on the left hand side where you can also fit a pretty big phone. There's a phone pocket on the right thigh in addition to a smaller zip pocket. There's the hammer loop, a pen pocket. There's one for this thing, which is, I can't remember the English name for. The thing you measure stuff with. It has gusseted crotch. They have articulated knees which I had to Google because, as you may know, English isn't my first language and I doubt that it means that the knees are well with words. But it's this. I recently got a couple of pigs and I'm clearing this area so that I can uh, see them from my kitchen window. It's nice to check on them regularly from inside the house and also just see what they're up to. Uh, I still find myself looking out the windows to see what the water buffaloes are up to, but now I can focus only on one window and to see the pigs. <laughs> the pigs are settling in, they're eating, drinking and digging, but I've noticed that one of them has a limp. They say that's because they are not used to running around like this, they've been on concrete ever since they were born and not moved around that much and suddenly they're here and can run around and do whatever they want. So the vet says that he's probably just strained something and I really hope that's what it is and that he'll recover fast. Uh, I'll monitor him the next couple of days and I'll let you know.
My work pants biggest nemesis is this metal sheep fence. Even though I have a general rule that no one ever goes over it but uses the gate instead, sometimes when I'm in a hurry, which I kind of always am, it's much easier to jump over it than to walk around and that's usually when I tear up my pants. And maybe these pants won't tear up so easily, uh, one can always hope, but there's one way to prevent it and that's to always walk around instead of jumping over. pants are comfortable whether I'm sitting, bending, stretching, squatting or jumping. There's no squeezing of the balls and I think they look pretty cool as well. I read somewhere that 1620s aesthetics feels as if Carhartt married Arcteryx and had a fling with Patagonia. These are pants that I feel I don't have to take off before picking up the kids from school. My eight-year-old even said they looked like really nice party pants, only with pockets and dirtier, so I had to wash them first. When putting the knife in the pocket, it's positioned a little slanted, which makes it stand out a little on the side. And that feels a bit off to me, so I automatically place the knife next to the patch instead to keep the knife in a more upright position. So with my way of carrying it, maybe I could use a bigger patch. So with my way of carrying it, maybe I could use a bigger patch or a smaller knife. Always an excuse to get another knife. These exact pants cost 174 US dollars, and that's quite a lot of money, but 1620 is confident that they'll outlast all other pants. So I'm excited to see how they hold up. Uh, they say give them hell, and that's exactly what I intend to do. Thank you for watching. Thank you, Josh, for sending these pants. Like and subscribe, and until next time, toodaloo.